Simon Thornton, introduction. Five, four, three, two, mark. It's Inside Thornton, the program series that features topics of and about Thornton Township High School. Inside Thornton is a production of the Thornton Television News Service, the world's longest-running high school TV news service. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Inside Thornton number six. This is uh, Greg Struess coming at you on this wonderful Thursday morning. And uh, Ken Spala's not here today. We just all feel bad about that. <laughs> anyway, our guest today is... Uh, Originally, it was supposed to be our guest today, but one of which didn't want to come on here. Uh, okay, I'll start. Our guest today is one of the... One of the that's a little too early. Wait a second. Our guest today is one of the co-editors of the Thornton 2 newspaper, active member in the student government, KIP, which sponsored the mock election on Tuesday. They are also in charge of selling Christmas trees and donkey basketball, which comes in... Uh, which comes in the spring or whatever, yes? And uh, please help, help me welcome one of our greatest outspoken people here at Thorn, Lisa K. Wakeham. Yeah. So, Lisa, <laughs> many of your fans out there. Uh, who, now, how have you been? Pardon? How have you been? I've been pretty good, Greg. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now getting with the mock election on um, Tuesday. At the time that this is taped, this is taped on Tuesday, so we didn't know who was going to win okay. the person. Who set the mock? Who sets? Who's in charge of setting that kind of oh, stuff? Oh, Mr. Up? David Smith in social studies department is in charge of the, um, the mock election. And uh, Cart? No, Mondale won that. Yes, Mondale won. And uh, I'm not going to ask you who you voted for. <laughs> we know. And, <laughs> okay, so. What is uh, what is the main thing now with uh, Thornton Two newspaper? Your editor here. I got a, uh, I got one of your stories here. Mm -hmm. I was disappointed. Why weren't you on homecoming court? You and Barb. Yeah. Thank you, studio it? audience. Um. Gee, Greg, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> okay. Now, with the you work with the you work with the Economist now, didn't you? Yes, a pointer economist. And uh, how did you write a lot of stories for that? I saw. Well, that. I was doing like a feature story all last year. Now I'm doing kind of like a photo opinion, which is going on again this year. And what are some of the things that you've written about? For, um, it's kind of like a Royco, but it's 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 more based toward teenagers and stuff like that. But I wanted to get away from that. That's why I'm on the Thornton Two newspaper, which I feel is going to be very very good this year, and I hope people are buying it. Now you're a co-editor with Barbara. With Barbara, yes. And. Uh, how did you get to be co-editor? Well, over the summer I went to Ball State University and I took a college course. I had fun. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> and, um, and I supposedly learned how to write. She asked both Barb and I. I'm, I'm editor of news and Barb is editor of editorial. Some other things too. Yeah. Uh, how was the paper reborn? <laughs> reborn because well, it wasn't in, it wasn't active last year. And we just got it going again this year because I think we have a lot of talented people on our staff. We have a lot of hard workers, and our papers are becoming more colorful. And the paper that's coming out, when is this show coming on? This is on Thursday, two days. The paper that's coming out tomorrow is going to be very good. It's 16 pages, which we haven't had in a long time. And are we in this one? Um, uh. Yes, you are. <laughs> it's a nice picture. Oh, yes. really? Yes. Nice uh. picture for TNS. Give you a plug. Yeah. We have a lot of pictures of all the homecoming activities, so you might find yourself in there. Now, um, how how often? When is this released? Like, Every three weeks. And uh, when are the when are all the stories due? Stories <laughs> are due about a week and a half <clears throat> after. So, but approximately in another week and a half, we'll have to have all of our stories in and typed. How yeah. is uh, the charming Mrs. Seinel to work with? How is she? Oh, doing? Mrs. Seinel, she's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Married, I hope. No. Yes, uh, it's her second child. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> How is she to work with? She's 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 um hard, but she's very she's very college prep in a sense. If you were going to go into the newspaper, so it, it, she's a good teacher, no, and she's it's... making our newspaper look good. Other teachers might say, "Well, do it all on your own," but make us look like idiots. Now she's making us look good. Yeah. Faking your way through. Oh, How's that? <laughs> How, okay. How's um? Uh, what's what are quickly? What are some KIP activities that are coming up? Um, Greg, I'm not in real You're active in KIP, KIP this year. No, but I'm. We are uh, vice president. I'm vice president and vice president of senior class, and we are going on a class trip to Florida in April, which is going to cost $400 if we fly. It's going to cost approximately $150 less if we don't fly. We take the bus, but we are going to have a Christmas dance or or a um, winter dance, which is going to be. It's it's not exactly going to be like a, a real small gym jam, but it's going to be um, a little more formal. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope a lot of people attend. We're going to have a good DJ. Okay. Uh, we have to go away right now, and we'll be back in a moment with okay. a surprise. Ooh. Hi, I'm Keith Moreland, outfielder for the Chicago Cubs. Sometimes our team wins, sometimes we lose, but it always feels better to win. But there's a team that you can join that always wins. The United Blood Service team of volunteer blood donors, a team that saves lives. To join, all you have to do is give a unit of blood. So do the right thing, give blood. Do it the right way. Join the United Blood Service's team of winners. Call them at 751-1701. Thank you. Well, we're back, and uh, Lisa, it was a pleasure. It was fun having you here. Uh, right now we have Henry, well, Henry right Denson. now we have Henry Denson here, who's uh, one of the chair people for the Breakdance Club here at uh, Thornton. Once again, we're going to have another Breakdance segment. We're going to leave you here now. It's Greg Struess. Thank you all for watching, along with Lisa. Thanks for being here. Thanks a lot, And Greg. we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs> and here are the Breakdancers. Bye. Bye. Bye.